Uh, hey, what's up everyone? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter blog, also known as the Chatty Pen Pal channel, and today we are going to decorate some wintry pen pal envelopes. Now, I do decorating uh, envelope videos more often, but in this video I'm also going to show you three different ways of how to create envelopes, um, either with or without tools. I thought it would be nice to refresh your memory because making envelopes is very easy, very simple and very fun, if I may add. <laughs> um, I'm first showing you the three mails that I will be sending out. I'm not gonna spoil who these are going to because I don't think they have arrived yet. This one is not finished yet. I was just showing you how I started it, um, but I, I have finished it, of course, before sending it out. I just knew these three envelope or these three mails were kind of small, nice flat meal and all similar size. So I thought it would be fun to do a three in one type of video. For the envelopes, I am using Flow magazine um, pages. Usually this Dutch magazine has these sturdier pages in between to kind of mark the chapters. And I always use and save them for envelopes because one side has a print. As you can see, this one has like a beach print. The other side is a single color, which is obviously perfect for using for envelopes. So the first one you could already see me do it, uh, I made using a stencil. I have a beautiful wooden stencil that I got from a web shop when I started pen paling. So I'm sorry, I don't know where you can buy this, um, but there are many envelope stencils or templates available. But if you don't want to purchase anything, my best tip is to either print or make your own stencil. If you look on Pinterest or on Google, or if you want to pay for it on Etsy, there are tons of printables you can print <laughs> and cut out. I suggest printing uh, onto sturdier cardstock so that you can kind of make your own template uh, similar to my wooden one. Another thing, if you do not own a printer, is very simple. Grab a received envelope or a junk mail envelope or just an envelope you have. Carefully cut it open and trace that. Trace that onto the paper you want to use because, of course, uh, <laughs> that can very well be used as a, a stencil or a template as well. So that is my first tip on how to make envelopes. If you want a full detailed how-to video, I also have a tutorial for that, which I will link down below. I personally love handmade envelopes because it's also a great way to use up scraps, paper scraps, and to make an envelope that matches your project. And in my case, they are free because it's literally magazine paper that I'm repurposing. <laughs> So then the decorating, this one is very bright pink, which doesn't necessarily uh, normally scream winter, but I received some goodies that I wanted to use and they are also kind of bright pink. I still don't know how to pronounce this sh shop name, but it's French. I think it's Declochon, 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 I don't know. Um, she sent me some goodies in my PO box um, to true use for mail and I wanted to turn them into an envelope. So that bright pink Christmas tree is actually a gift tag. And then I'm using some other things like a sticker sheet she had sent me with little presents. And then other things I used are just vintage paper I had in my stash and that adorable little house paper that someone used in wintry mail for me. And then the last thing is a label I had in my stash. I stuck down a December stamp, but I kind of forgot you have to use two for international mail. So I did that afterwards, but this one was kind of perfect because it's pink. <laughs> and that of course matches my theme quite nicely. And then last thing, or not the last thing, but another thing I'm doing is I'm just decorating around it with a white jelly roll. So it is wintry, but different, and I like that. Um, another thing I've of course had to use is, I hope you guys can't hear my cat scratching in the background, um, is Nouveau Drops. This one is a pearlescent one. 
Sage, are you done? Seriously, a pearlescent one uh, in white because that kind of looks like snowflakes. And then of course a pink one to finish it off. The reason why you can hear my cat in the background is because I'm actually on the couch, very comfortable. Um, <laughs> Okay, this is the next mail. I already showed you the flip book a little bit, but I actually ended up um, adding some more goodies to it, which I'm just showing you now. If you want to see how I made that flip book, as well as the other um, little pockets that I included in the third mail I will be showing you, I have a video tutorial upon that. It's wintry pen pal goodies, and I love it a lot. So I will also link that down below. And I'm just showing you kind of the extra goodies I'm including. This is the flip book. I'm not showing that right now because of course I want you to check out the video. The next thing I'm showing you or was showing you on my phone is this app. If you have an envelope punch board, download it. It's called Envelope Punch Board Calculator. It's on Android. I don't know if it is on... Um, iPhones as well, but it basically you give the measurements for your project and it just basically tells you how big the envelope or how big the paper has to be and what measurements to use with your envelope punch board. Cal uh, with your envelope punch board, yeah. <laughs> so that is a very great. Um, in the beginning of the video, you could see that I was planning on using the three kind of single color backs of these pages but then once I folded it I realized that this design actually was placed quite nicely inside the envelope and I liked it so much and I also thought it looked kind of wintry with the background color and the, the dried flower type thing that I decided to turn it around so these are not three single color envelope bases but um, one very different one with a design on the front but I liked it so much I didn't want it to go to waste. Anywho, the second how to make an envelope tutorial thing is obviously to use an envelope punch board. Um, if you have an envelope punch board, you already know that you can use it to make envelopes. But I just wanted to let you know that there is an app that actually tells you all sorts of different measurements that your envelope punch board does not show. So very great. It also allows you to make box envelopes, which is, of course, my favorite thing to do. Um, but yeah. Don't know just wanted to include that so what i'm doing is obviously decorating it this one went to Anne or annie uh in russia very cool i rarely i don't think i've ever sent mail to russia probably i've said that before but i have not sent mail to russia often let me say it like that so that was really cool i have no clue if this one has arrived already or if this one is taking Long, I know that mail is messed up at the moment. Um, I've sent mail to Chris in the USA back in 2020 and it hasn't arrived yet while mail, or not 2020, goodness, 2021, while mail that I've sent in 2022 has already arrived. So there's no way of knowing. Um, if I send you mail and you receive it, I would of course be very grateful if you would let me know because I'm always a little bit worried of them not reaching their destinations but yeah uh annie in russia i uh, i wasn't necessarily planning on going vintage style with this envelope but it just kind of happened it's going to be a mix a mash up between vintage papers and new style girl sticker uh so that thing on the left the box is just full of little paper scraps because they are perfect for decorating an envelope the way i'm doing here i loved the background so much i wanted to add to it and not cover it up so i just grabbed the, the tiniest scraps to uh create some little touches and then i have all of these girl stickers that were kindly sent to me in mail obviously and i knew i had to use the green one because it complements the color so beautifully and i just really liked this one i really like the colors and everything and i also like the fact that she's sitting down that just kind of looked nice i don't know i'm not very good at talking today um so i just created a little background for the sticker because if i stick it down like that it always looks a little bit random as kira pace would say it looks like it's floating and i didn't like that so i kind of created something for the sticker to sit on <laughs> literally 
And then the sticker that I used top left that says please deliver to is from Pick Your Mix Australia. I purchased this one myself but I also received a lot of stickers from her because I was her brand rep for a little while. So I do want to tell you that I'm a brand rep but I'm also a fan because I purchased these myself. Mm. And normally I would write the their address on the right. I don't know why I think that you're supposed to write it on the right side. Is it that way or is that just how we always do it in the Netherlands? Um, but there was more space on the left, so I just figured why the heck not. And then because I wanted to add more little touches as I'm not like really good at minimalistic style, I grabbed these tiny, tiny uh, snowflake stamps that were in a Your Creative Studio box a while ago, like last year, I think. I haven't really used these, but because I don't know, they're tiny and I thought I would do something different than the Nouveau Drops. So I just used the stamps as little touches. And then the last thing, don't worry, I'm going to show the up close at the end of this video as well. But the last thing I added is a little typed hello. Um, I made these for Patreon uh, as printables. <laughs> so I had to use one because I think it looked nice there. This is a mail I've sent to back in Australia. I it's kind of confusing because I write to two backs in Australia, but this is, um, I think you live in Kurumbin, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> and this is the other back, <laughs> so it's a little bit confusing. I'm just quickly showing you some of the things I have included in this mail. I've stuffed a gift bag full of random goodies. I wanted to include wintry things, but it felt a little bit double because she's in Australia and it's summer there so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense and then again the pocket I made not this gift bag but the pocket the one that says a gift for you I showed in a video the reason why I loved this set with this paper is because the color of the envelope or of the paper that I'm going to use for the envelope comes back in the letter and in the goodies and I like it a lot so that's why I felt that this was the mail to go in that specific envelope. And then I, what I'm doing here is I am using the sticker sheet as base for my mail. The reason why is because that is the largest item. So um, if I make the envelope big enough to fit the sticker sheet, then it should be big enough to fit the rest of the mail. And this is the third way to create an envelope. It goes a little fast, but basically you just fold paper around your mail. Um, you fold over the left, you fold over the right to create that uh, glue spot. And then you fold over uh, the top and the bottom. And of course, a flap for the envelope um, so that you can close the envelope. You can close the mail. And then the last thing you do, it's a little bit difficult to explain, but if you look carefully, you can see what I'm doing is you just cut off everything, uh, the side flaps apart from the part, the flaps where you're going to put glue on. It's not a great day for me to be explaining things, but if you want a slower tutorial, like I said, I do have a video on this. This is just me quickly showing you how it's done. Um, so all you do is fold and this is great because even though i'm using um my trusty score and fold thing no not score and fold score and trim board you can just use a ruler or you can even do it without a ruler um, you don't need fancy tools for this type of envelope and i think that that is fantastic the last thing that i really like about this is that you as long as your paper is big enough you can make an envelope to fit any project I don't use this method often enough, but I highly recommend it. So that is the simple third envelope. And of course, we're also going to decorate it. Mm, this one is a little bit less wintry, I have to admit. Uh, I can only do winter themed stuff for so long, I guess. Mm. Quick sip, sip of coffee. So I'm actually going to use one of these beautiful um flower embellishments and what i was showing you up close it was really fast because it's not that interesting is nouveau drops i embellished these with little nouveau drops nouveau is basically a uh, colored glue so it's little droplets and the reason why i did that is because my cat sage actually attacked these stickers 
Don't ask me why, maybe it's the scent or something, but she attacked them and she bit into them. So there were tiny holes in these flowers and I just covered up the holes with Nuvo drops. And you don't actually see it anymore because now it just looks like I decorated the flower instead of um, that I covered something up, which is what I did. So uh, if you hear a clicking sound, I'm sorry, that's, I'm holding on to my microphone because it's a little loose, like it keeps falling down. So I'm actually holding it, but that makes a sound. Um, I want to tell you two more things. First of all, the reason why it's not a great day for me to be explaining things. And I also want to clarify something. When I'm editing this, I'm actually working ahead Oh yeah, I'm making a mistake here. I'm putting glue, but it's actually a sticker. So I put glue on the back of the sticker and then I realize that it's a sticker. So I can just remove the adhesive and uh, stick it down without using glue. Um, but I'm working ahead because this week restaurants are actually opening up again. I will be going back to work. I have been working for the past few weeks as well, but we worked takeaway which is a lot different from my day-to-day -day job. And with my crippling anxiety, I just know that it's going to take me a while <laughs> to land on my feet again. Very, very excited for life to be back to normal, but going back to normal. Oh yeah, I made this one up upside down. I completely forgot about that. I once again made an envelope upside down. Congratulations, Vivian. Your most silly mistake. But... I am very excited to go back to normal, but going back to normal like that change is just a cause for a lot of anxiety for me. And that is okay. I mean, I know that everyone knows that about me, but I just, I'm not looking forward to that. So I'm pre-recording this so that I don't have to worry about YouTube videos and I can just um, focus on uh, waiting for the dust to settle. But... That also means that I might not reply to comments or anything right away. Okay, I'm sorry. I just listened back and I realized the clicking of the microphone is actually super annoying. So I've tried to fix it now. Um, one day I will invest in a better microphone. But, you know, <laughs> trying not to do all the big investments in one week. Um... The second thing I wanted to tell you is that I have, of course, already started working on spring-themed mail. After New Year's, I was just so done with winter. I was so done with the gloomy days and the rain and everything. I just thought, you know what, I'm going to pretend it's spring already. And I started working with pastel colors, kind of like I'm doing in this envelope. Uh, pastel colors and flowers and botanicals and light colors. And it just made me so happy. And then I thought, you know what, I'm going to start uploading these videos already because I think everyone is kind of ready for winter to be over. So I figured I would Google when spring actually starts and i realized it's still two months away <laughs> spring doesn't start until march oh my god so i thought okay that's a little early i had already put the winter themed envelopes i'm making here this video i already put it in a separate folder for next year to upload uh, at the end of this year i mean for next winter and then i realized okay fine we're actually still in the middle of winter, so let me upload <laughs> this now. Um, so I'm sorry, I'm going to wait a little bit longer for the spring-themed meal, but not until March. I think I'll start in February. So what I'm doing here is I'm just adding that last stamp. I'm a little sad because it's not pink and it kind of ruins the aesthetic of the envelope. But it still looks pretty, so you know just gonna ignore that i wish we had beautiful stamps like they do in finland or sweden or something but you know you gotta make do with what you have um so last thing i'm gonna say i think i've already said it is that i will not be as active on youtube while uh i'm like going through the change of back to normal life basically so even though i'm uploading videos i might not be as active on like instagram or here that doesn't mean that i'm not reading your comments because sometimes uh like i will read all of the comments but not reply to them simply because my head isn't working right same as today but 
I do still appreciate them. So if I don't reply to you, please know that it's not because I don't care or I don't want to. It's just because I am uh, taking some time for myself. So I will talk to you again soon. I am also going to continue working on videos now because why the heck not? I feel like I need to do something productive. So the next video I will be uploading is a PR box opening video, which I'm really, really excited about. I will see you hopefully there. And a big thank you to my patrons and to everyone supporting my channel. Hope you all have a lovely day. Um, yeah, I hope you all are doing fine. I hate outros. I never know what to say. Anyway, thank you for watching and...